What is up guys, I'm back with another video and I've been hearing a lot of myths about Android recently so I thought I'd just make a video about the top 5 myths I've heard in the past and just, just clear it up a bit let you know if it's true or not. Number 1 is that Android is the exact same on every single phone. So there's always someone on the internet or on some forum saying Android lags or it doesn't do a specific task. But the truth is, if you ask that person what type of phone they're using, they're probably using a Galaxy S2 from a few years ago. Android is far from the same on every single phone. Every manufacturer has the right to change anything they want about Android since it's open source. And this results in a lot of different versions of Android being, not versions, but a lot of different varieties of Android skins available on different devices. So for example, we have HTC Sense, we have Samsung's TouchWiz, we have pure Google like on the Nexus devices, we have the LG skin, we have a, a lot of different skins. So Android is, like, is far from the same on every single phone if you think about it. Different models of Android phones can also vary in performance depending on how heavy the skin is. So for example, if you try opening the dial on a Samsung device running TouchWiz, and then you try opening it on an HTC device running Sense, you'll see a huge difference and that's due to how heavy TouchWiz is on the Samsung devices itself. So to clear it up, Android is definitely not the same on every single phone. The second myth is that Android lags way more than other mobile operating systems. This was partially covered in the previous topic, but the user experience, functionality and performance of an Android device is dependent on the version of Android it's running, the Android skin on the device, and also the hardware. So I can definitely guarantee you that someone who says Android lags a lot is basing their opinion on a device that was released 2 years ago running Android 2.3 Gingerbread, or even that same device running a custom ROM based off of Android 4.3 Jelly Bean that the phone's hardware is not ready to run, which results in the lag and they just base it on all Android phones. So saying that Android lags and basing your entire opinion of Android based on that older phone running an older version of Android would be basically the same thing as wanting an iPhone 3G or 3GS to run like an iPhone 6 running iOS 8. Myth number 3 is that Android is Samsung. So no, Android is not Samsung, Android is Android. There are many other manufacturers out there like HTC, LG, Sony and a lot more but the fact is that Samsung is just more famous to the general public due to its marketing. In fact the other devices out there like the HTC One M8, the OnePlus One, the LG G3, the Sony Xperia Z3 will probably perform much faster than the Samsung devices due to how heavy Samsung's TouchWiz skin is. So to clear it up, no, Android is not Samsung, Android is Android. Myth number 4 is that Android is slower or less fluid than iOS. This was a true fact until Android Jelly Bean was released. So with Android Jelly Bean, we were introduced to Project Butter, which brought the visual fluidity up to the level of iOS. However, with the launch of Android Lollipop, from my experience, I think it's the other way around. Android Lollipop is a lot smoother, faster, and more visually pleasing than previous versions of Android. And its visual hierarchy and maturity is much higher than that of iOS 8 in my opinion. Myth number 5 is that Android is better than iOS. So sure, in terms of functionality and customizability, Android can do more, but the fact is that no one can judge this because it all relies on personal preference. If you like iOS, buy an iPhone. If you like Android, buy an Android smartphone. But don't state your opinion as a fact and say that hands down Android is better than iOS. Different individuals have different tastes, needs and personal preferences. An Android user might say Android is better because it's more functional and customizable. But that's wrong, that just means it's more functional and customizable, not better. Because if you think about it, functionality and customizability might have absolutely nothing to do with why an iOS user purchased his iPhone. He might have bought it for the Apple ecosystem, iOS 8's design, or even continuity. So the fact is that one operating system is not better than the other. It's all based on personal preference. And bonus myth number 6, iOS is better than Android. So that's been it for this video. If you liked it, feel free to give it a huge thumbs up below. And if you find it made sense, definitely share it around and let everyone know that these myths are not true. So if you aren't subscribed to the channel yet, feel free to hit that subscribe button below and I definitely look forward to reading all your comments below in the comment section. So that's been it again, thanks a lot for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one.